Hello my precious everyone, welcome back to Wow Mel. Today I'm bringing you another baking video. Rather than celebrating a holiday, although you will notice the Easter decorations around, I am actually going to be making a D&D themed food. Dungeons and Dragons has this new official Heroes Feast book and so I checked it out from the library and I have a session tomorrow so I thought it would be really cool if I made a recipe for my players. The recipe in question is going to be elven bread. You see it's like a cute little bread log and it's got a cinnamon swirl in it and to commemorate the occasion I do have my half elf ears on for like a little bit of authenticity. Authenticity. I've literally never made bread before. Obviously not this type of bread, so I'm happy to give it a shot. Why am I doing this? <laughs> the first step is to dissolve two packages of the yeast into a fourth cup of lukewarm milk. I have some milk that's just been kind of chilling, so. Ooh, don't drip it on the bone. I also have some yeast. Fantastic. Uh, yeast. I spilled some yeast all over the counter. Then I have to add more milk, honey, two beaten eggs, which implies that I need to beat it beforehand. Butter, salt, whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour. Okay, so I have to add a lot of stuff. One fourth. Oh, that's so nice that they have the measurements on the side for you because... Also, my sister's dancing in the basement. The music's playing kind of loudly, so I hope you can't hear it. So I'm just gonna talk loudly. And I'll put the boy in there. And I'll fold it up real good. We'll cha-cha real smooth. Half cup seems like a lot of honey. It smells like movie theater popcorn. Okay, the butter. I need two teaspoons of salt. Ugh, it always like rings salt when I open this. Oh god, whoops, I'm so sorry. I have one salty sink. You know, it's probably a really bad idea if my book is right here. I'm like pouring everything right over this book that does not belong to me. I'm gonna move this. This is what foresight is about, kids. I look like a little wizard. Wizard in the kitchen. I'll just beat the two eggs in here. This is where it gets a little rough, boys. Crack. And... Oops. Yep, every time. Okay. Just don't... Okay, that was even worse than usual. Oh, you couldn't see, thankfully, because that's in the way. Oh, Iggy Bits. One more. I hope this one goes a little better. Just a clean. Okay, that one was very nice. Beat your eggs. Beat, beat your eggs. Just put that in there. Now we put in the flour. One cup of this sweet, sweet whole wheat flour, and then five cups of this all-purpose flour, and then we'll be good to go. That's mostly level. Yeah. One. So this is all-purpose flour, right? Is there only like single-purpose flour? A few purpose flour? I guess that's what the whole wheat flour is. That was three, right? Definitely, probably the correct measurements. I need to mix until well combined, and then after it's well combined, I have to like mix it more using this dough hook. Let's get well combined, ladies. Oh, you can kind of see. You can kind of see. I was supposed to use like a paddle attachment, but I don't really know what that is, so I hoped using a rubber spatula was like the same thing. And it's just gotta do this for like eight minutes. While that's going, I'm going to lightly grease a large bowl because once this is done, I have to put this in a large bowl so it can rise. Now I'm going to check. It's supposed to be somewhat elastic and a little sticky. I don't really know about my hands, but like, let's find out. This doesn't really seem like dough yet. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Hello everyone, welcome back. The dough is like suitably doughy, I think. The recipe says it's supposed to be, stop. The recipe says it's supposed to be elastic and somewhat sticky. So I think it's good enough. 
Um, I greased up this bowl real good, and so I'm gonna put it in there, flip it so all sides of it get greased, put plastic wrap over it, and then it actually has to rise for an hour. However, thankfully, I won't be completely bored during this hour because I have to make the cinnamon sugar filling, which is how the elven bread gets a little swirl in it, so that'll be fun. Now I need to put it somewhere warm so it can rise for an hour. It should double in size, supposedly. Does my house count as somewhere warm? So at approximately 4.30, I will check it again. Maybe I'll relocate it somewhere warmer. <laughs> Whatever. It's gonna have to move. I have other problems to deal with. I am making the cinnamon sugar filling. I need a half cup of sugar, one tablespoon cinnamon, and one tablespoon flour. This is a half tablespoon, so I need to use two of them. So we're gonna have a lid, are we? Two. I have to get one more egg and beat it again and add some water. It'll make an egg wash, supposedly. I don't really know what that is. Let's be extra cautious. I just punched this egg and torpedoed a little bit of it somewhere and up my arm. Eggs. I do know I need to beat this, so I'm gonna just do that right now before the egg beats me. Ooh, this looks really delicious. The cinnamon sugar. Maybe the elves are onto something. You smell the cinnamon sugar. I kind of have to wait because I can't put this in the dough until the dough is done rising. I can't wash the dough until the dough is done rising. So I will be back in like another 45 minutes to continue the work. I am back, pardon the background noise, the dishwasher is going because there's just too much to do that I didn't wanna wait. The dough was supposed to double in size by now. It honestly only looked like it rose a little bit. I'm wondering if maybe I did something wrong in the first step with the yeast? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I didn't have a paddle to mix it and I just mixed it by hand. Maybe that was a problem, I don't know. But we're just gonna go with it. Um, so now I'm going to flour up this area, put the dough down, roll it out, cut it in two. Then I have to put the cinnamon sugar and the egg wash on, then roll it back up, set it in the pan, and then it gets to rise for another hour and a half to two hours. So that's why I'm not like too worried about it not being super big because I think it'll rise some more. But we're gonna find out. I've kind of reached the point where I'm like, low-key done with baking and i don't mean actually done in terms of how much work i have left to do Ooh, this flower is <laughs> my brain is just kind of over it it didn't seem to rise very much but that's okay we'll make it work it's too liquidy uh-oh and i have a uh-oh well that's not gonna work Just add flour to it. I mean, it may taste a lot of floury, but hopefully the cinnamon sugar will fix that because it's not just like straight up bread. But I don't think I did anything wrong. So why did this happen? The trick is evenly sprinkling it. That's what I'm not so good at. Oh, that looks good. I'm not good at sprinkling it evenly, so I'm not even really trying. I'm just sprinkling it and then spreading it out evenly with the back of my uh, spatula thing. They'll probably be really small because for some reason the dough did not rise like I thought it would. Although it does have to rise some more, so. Still, there's still some hope for me, but it smells delicious, and even if the loaves are tiny, that's okay, as long as they're yummy. You can see they're covered with the cinnamon. I have to, kind of similar to the Yolog. log, if you haven't seen that video, I kind of recommend it. I take one of the small ends, and I just roll it. You'll see it better when I do the other one, because that's more on camera, but my hands are really very bready, so I can't move the camera now, unfortunately. Rolled bread. Oops, it's unrolling. I'm gonna put it in the pan 
right now before anything goes wrong. It's supposed to rise again as to where it's like hanging up an inch over the edge of the pan, which I don't know if that's gonna happen. It's like barely half of the pan. These are gonna be real small loaves. If someone is good at making bread, can you tell me if it was me who done goofed? Or if maybe the recipe was low key not it? Not to uh, call out the Dungeons and Dragons cookbook, but I swear I followed it, right? So, uh, what's happening? Okay, Brad, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop sticking to the pan. Okay, I, I really don't know about this, guys. Ooh, I am flowery, but that is okay. Here's one little, see how little it is? And the other one is a tiny bit bigger. I'm supposed to cover these and let them rise in a warm place for an hour and a half to two hours or until like the middle is like an inch over the pan. I don't really see that even possibly happening. My goal is just to maybe get it to the top of the pan or at least most of the way there. I don't really know, but as long as it tastes good, it's okay if it's like really small. So I'm going to cover these and let them rise in a warm place and clean up all my mess. I'll see you guys shortly. Hello everyone, I am back. It is actually the next day and I am here with my party. I baked the bread. Well, actually, low-key, my mom took it out of the oven for me because I was playing Dungeons & Dragons while that was happening. But the bread is done, and now I'm going to actually give it to my party and get their reviews. It looks a little something like this. There's another loaf, but that one didn't rise very well. This one's already kind of small. So I'm going to give them the hopefully better one, and they'll let me know their thoughts. This reminds me of, like, preschool. When you look at all the cameras. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god, yeah. I like how they only ever gave you like one paper It's true. They're like, use this sparingly, you get one. I get none. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I you suggested oh. it too. Ooh. Okay, I can do it. Oh, Ma maximum there we go. cutting skills. Yep. Oh, Ooh, it's got layers. Yeah, there's cinnamon inside. It's like a swirl. It's complicated. It, it's it, it, it has layers. It has layers. <laughs> it smells really good. It does actually. Um, it does actually. I love that Mel was cutting it. Really nice and too. I just saw it sliding further and further away. <laughs> it cut pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. I think so. I can see <laughs> Feels like the bread. swirl. Feels like bread, that's promising. I it really don't know how about. Oh, Look at that cool. swirl. I'm gonna eat it. Just kind of tastes like cinnamon. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. It's not bad. It was a little dry. It just tastes like normal cinnamon. I mean, I don't know what I was like, expecting it to taste like. It's a good thing. It doesn't taste like anything. That, that means not bread. you did it correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. It tastes like cinnamon bread. Oh, it's yeah. like a less messy cinnamon roll. I had a cinnamon roll today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a dog hair. I thought she said, don't care. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> Can you caption her with that? Don't care. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Right? Especially if this is supposed to be more like a medieval recipe. This is like super good. I'd eat it if I was a princess in the 1600s. <laughs> I'd eat it. Well, that was a riveting conversation <laughs> with my party. So, final thoughts on the bread? Mediocre, pretty okay. I yeah, it's good. It. Yeah. Yeah. it was good. I mean, it was a little dry, but it was good. Yeah. You know, for the amount of flour that I added yeah. into it that you'll see yeah. in the video, I think it being a little dry was the best possible yeah. outcome. <laughs> it didn't taste flowery. Yeah, it did not taste flowery. It didn't taste good. like a flower at all. But, for now, Sorry, Bianca, I might have to cut. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for joining me, my precious everyone. I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> so many hands. Pecan fire. Um, TV burns.